let's open it up. I want to hear from you now. It's your turn. WMAY. It's the morning news feed. I'm Greg Bishop. And what is that uh, that Christmas or holiday tradition that you and your family recognize that might be a little different than uh, what some of your uh, your peers may recognize? I'm talking about, you know, elf on the shelf type stuff. <laughs> 217-629-7970. That's the phone number. And you can uh, tell us your family's holiday traditions. Is it something you do special on Christmas Eve? Is it something you do special on Christmas Day? Is it a, uh, a special type of meal that you have? Or maybe, you know, you put certain things into people's stockings. What kind of uh, unique holiday traditions do you and your family have? 217-629-7970 at 8:12 here on the WMAY morning news feed as we rapidly approach Christmas. My gosh, it's less than 10 days away. Hopefully you got all your all your Christmas things done. Oh boy. So let's hear it. 217-629-7970. That's the phone number for the WMAY morning news feed for you to chime in on uh, what is your Christmas or holiday uh, tradition. Now, uh, my family, it, we do a variety of different things. Uh, of course, I've got, uh, you know, my wife's side of the family, which is very traditional. Uh, I believe we were already scheduled to go hang out with her parents on Christmas Eve, like the night of Christmas Eve, where we get together, we have some ham, we eat some food, we drink some drinks, uh, and then we hand out gifts and just hang out. Uh, very, very, very traditional. Uh, and we've done it for years that way. And they, they did it for years before I was even around. Uh, and then my side of the family, we get together uh, with with <laughs> kind of different events and it's scattershot as to when it's actually going to happen. Uh, this year, actually, I'm going to be heading down uh, to a restaurant with my dad uh, and uh, some some siblings that are in the area, and we're going to have um, uh, some some lunch uh, on a Sunday uh, at a uh, Italian restaurant uh, where we'll also play Rob Your Neighbor, which hey, bring a bring a you know ten, fifteen, twenty dollar gift, put it in a pile, and then and then it's going to be uh, Rob Your Neighbor action, which is actually kind of fun. Uh, some people call it white elephants. Um, others, you know, steal from your neighbor or whatever you call it. Um, it's it's a lot of fun to be able to you know, have somebody go up, shake a gift, unwrap it, and then all of a sudden everybody else wants to steal that gift. Uh, so uh, every year I try to I try to find something that um, well is going to be that go to gift that people want to steal. Uh, either it's going to be a comical book, or it's going to be. I think this year I actually. I think I, I I packaged some some survival gear, <laughs> some survival items like some water filters, like uh, you know life straws. Uh, what else did we do? I think uh, I think Megan got like a uh, like a survival pack uh, that you know a bag that includes a bunch of tools and different types of implements and whatnot, uh, like you know a compass and different types of saws and knives and. Uh, some rope, uh, some some striking uh, stuff for fires and whatnot. So uh, you know, I try to uh, try to have some kind of theme each year when it comes to our uh, our Christmas gathering. But uh, looking forward to uh, to that. That's going to be a good time. But what are some of the uh, holiday traditions that you have with your family or that you've recently started? Uh, I think of one in particular that somebody's going to have to explain to me, and I don't quite understand it. What's with the elf on the shelf? What's that all about? Where did this come from? And is it is it like uh, one of those things that you you scare the kids with, or you're trying to get the kids to do something uh, a certain way? Or somebody's gonna have to explain that to me. What exactly is the elf on a shelf? Two one seven six two nine seven nine seventy is the phone number. What are your traditions for the holiday season? Uh, and when do you get together? Uh, are you kind of like uh, my side of the family where it's just find some date either days before or days afterwards? And it's like this as well with even Thanksgiving. We try to find a time that everybody can get together. <laughs> 
Uh, or are you uh, in a family where you guys, it is the strict holiday, it's the Christmas Eve, it's the Christmas Day, uh, and, uh, and, and, and the like. Uh, so 217-629-7970. What are your holiday traditions? Good morning. You're on WMAY. We have two elves on the shelf. And I think it's more for me than for the kids, but at the what, same what's time. What's behind we, it, though? What what exactly <laughs> is it all about? Um, it comes with a book. It sits on the shelf, and basically it reports back to Santa for good behavior or bad behavior. So it's kind of a motivational tool for kids to be less rotten around the holidays, I think. So, he's, it doesn't always so work. the elf is a snitch. <laughs> It is, yeah, and I found a shirt over the uh, internet that says "Snitches get stitches," and it's an elf that's got like black and blue eyes and uh, arm in a sling. But yeah, it's it's totally a stitch. So, what do your kids think about this? Are they do they buy? Oh, they it? love it. They love it. They've it's been around since my youngest daughter was about four or five. My oldest is eighteen, and she rolls her eyes because she gets to play along with it, of course. But <laughs> I don't know if my thirteen year old truly thinks that it's alive or not because I'm getting really good with the help of my husband and my older daughter to like set stuff up around the house when I'm not there. Cause she was kind of catching on that I was doing stuff with it last year. But then my, my husband helped and move some stuff when I was in the other room and I was like, where'd your elf come from? You know, and she was like, you were right here. And I'm like, what do you mean I was right here? So it's a good way for parents to lie to their kids. It's a good way to <laughs> manipulate them to try to be good. It's a great way to have shenanigans around the house, especially if you're creative. I love throwing their underwear all over the room and sticking their socks up on the wall with uh, push pins, saying that their socks were hung with care. And we have a jerk elf and we have a good elf. So the good elf brings good presents and the bad elf poops in your drawer with fake poop and melts oh chocolate in diapers and leaves it in stockings and i mean it's oh just amazing gosh. you go through all of this just to try to get your kids to do <laughs> to well do like good? i said it's more for me right now because it's like how how creative can i get with this without driving myself crazy i mean i'm not one of those people that compares myself to the pinterest moms that are beyond you should get on pinterest and check out elf on the shelf ideas oh there's some amazing things out there but man i just i just go for what i what I do and I have fun with it. The other day, all of the ornaments were put in the middle of the tree, which drove my oldest crazy. But my youngest was That's like, funny. Oh my gosh, Chet moved all the ornaments. And oh, I'm he's like, even got yes, a name. You've got they a name do. for your elf. Yeah, they both do. So oh she's all over so what's it, the, it's so, fun. So what's the good one called? Is Chet the good one? What's the, uh, the yeah, bad one Chet, called? No, Chet's the bad one. Oh, okay. And he's got horrible handwriting. So when they leave notes, they have their own oh handwriting. Oh gosh, they're even leaving notes. They do, yeah. They leave, um, like last year, Chet taped uh, Angelina as the other one. That's the good one, of course. She he, she was taped inside the cupboard with duct tape, and he was laughing in the corner sitting in oh a cup of hot cocoa. That's so, hilarious. yeah, it, it's very entertaining. That's awesome. Well, I appreciate you sharing this bizarre tradition uh, <laughs> and how you're tormenting your kids. Uh, oh, I to, love it. To be good. That's awesome. I love it. That's good stuff. Appreciate that. 217-629-7970 is the phone number. What are your strange or uh, maybe not so strange holiday traditions? Good morning. Hey, good morning, Greg. Hey. Uh, so on the Elf on the Shelf, we just started ours this year, and we've got two elves as well. And uh, my son, who's six years old, actually ended up touching the elf, which uh -oh. I guess is like a big no-no. Uh-oh. So, so, yeah, he started crying. <laughs> oh, no. So I think I, ru you know, I told him, I was like, you ruined the magic. You can't do that. Oh, my gosh. So he felt so you've, you've scarred him. You've scarred him for life now. I know. I know. So I, I told him, I said, no, I'll call Santa. I'll get it taken care of. Everything will be fine. And, and we'll, we'll, the magic will get put back. And as long as you listen to Mommy and Daddy, we're fine. That's I think awesome. it's a great tool, and the kids wake up every morning, you know, and my husband and I have to scramble to try to put it somewhere else because they're like, oh, wow. crap. So we don't do any of that fancy stuff. We just, like, move them around the right. house this year, you know. Yeah, that's funny. We'll get funny. into that, you know, fancy stuff next year. So how long have you been doing it, and how old is your son? Um, so I literally just started it this year, and I'm oh, like, wow. everybody has an elf. Why don't I have one? So that's I got two. Is. And we got a camo one, and we got, like, a – so my daughter <laughs> calls hers Katy Perry. And, and the camo one is Alex Camel, but if I say Camel, he gets offended. So he says That's it's just awesome. Alex. 
That's hilarious. I can't believe this. <laughs> you guys are going all out. Uh, having camo and different elves and different scenarios. And you, you had to call Make Santa. Kids to, cry. Yep, yeah. that's what we're all about. <laughs> I love it. That's good stuff. Appreciate that. Hearing from you about your holiday traditions. Uh, a couple of stories about Elf on the Shelf. But what about uh, White Elephant or Rob from Your Neighbor or Secret Santa? Uh, good morning. You're on WMAY. Morning, Greg. Hey. Actually, my kids already know that I am Santa. Santa, no. because I am not going to give credit to some fat pedophile who oh, stares at kids stop. all year long. Okay, oh, stop it. Santa Claus isn't that. He's a um, he's a kind he, old he, uh, he, you know. He old you when you're sleeping, he knows when you're awake, dude. That pedophile. I mean, <laughs> come on. Oh no, no, no. So, you're, but you're it, ruining it. You're ruining Christmas. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, so we actually do more of the experience. So we go to like the. Polar Express down in St. St. Louis. Ah. And we go, we do that. Uh, we go to like Car- Carlinville and they have a huge thing where you can get like a horse drawn carriage and stuff, stuff nice. like that too. We also went down to St. Louis this last weekend to the raceway and saw the lights mm. that were there. It was absolutely amazing. Uh, you'd actually drive around in the race, the raceway and the racetrack and they have lights all set up and they go to music and everything like That's like that cool. it, it takes about 20 minutes to drive wow. around holy cow and uh but yeah we do that and so, uh, you, so your Express, tradition your tradition is kind of getting in the car pack up the kids let's go look at some lights go look at the lights we do the polar express down in uh st st louis which is we get on a we get on the the train down at the union station yeah and uh, they have hot chocolate. They do cookies. Uh, there's people who are all dressed up, basically like some actors or, you know, uh, that are just taking a break or whatever. And they get into it really well. Mm. I mean, they just get in the mood and the, they just do an am- amazing job. Um, and they make sure that the kids are all happy and everything yeah. like that. They read the book and then Santa comes through and, you know, the kids are happy with it. Yeah, it definitely uh, is that time of year where uh, the magic can uh, can really have an impact, not just on kids, but on parents as well, uh, just to kind of give you that sense of the season. 217-629-7970, talking about your family traditions around the holidays. So we've heard about the Elf on the Shelf madness, uh, a couple of different uh, ways that that's happening. Also, I really like the tradition of packing the kids in the car and going and seeing lights. Uh, we did. We used to do that back in the day when I was really young. Uh, but uh, I can see that still to this day being exciting because there's some pretty intense light displays that people put up. And maybe that's part of your tradition. Are you somebody that goes over the top and doesn't just have lights dangling from your window, but you actually get out the sequencer and a you know low-power FM station where you're blasting some, you know, Christmas song and and it's it's synchronized to the lights. Is that what you do for your tradition? Uh, good morning. You're on WMAY. Scarily, I know some people who actually do that bit with the synchronizing lights and everything. One of them ended up becoming an engineer. But God, I bet. Anyways, it's pretty intense. It's you're not messing um, around with all of that. That having been said, some of the things since um, we've got a family where some people are overseas from different countries. Um, wherever we are in the world, we do try to get to see some of the lights, and it, they're a lot better in Europe and everything because it's, I don't know, they've got like 100 years or more of doing them. But anyway, and for, plus tourist spots, but wherever we are in the world, there's three things that we try to do, and that some of them are more recent. One of them is we always open the gifts around 10 o'clock at night, mainly because my grandfather couldn't wait to see the kids open their presents, so he always said that Santa came to the house early. Oh, that's funny. That's a good one. And the other two things are we watch, and they're more recent, um, watch Rare Exports, which is basically kind of a finished Christmas horror thing. Um, and Santa Slay was <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you say a Finnish Christmas horror theme? Well, Santa's from fin- Finland, right? So what can be more I thought Christmas he was from the North Pole. Oh. Um, well, yeah, if you go back to Coca-Cola, if you go back before that, <laughs> right, right. if you go back from, before that, he's from, um, Lapland with the Sami and everything. So, so you yeah. watch Christmas horror movies <laughs> for the holidays. Some of them are actually probably more Christmassy and then 
some of the things that you see. And, hell, I mean, you've got um, other countries have brought Krampus back out of the closet. Yep, so. That's right. Yeah, Krampus is now a household name, believe that or not. Hopefully people understand Krampus is not somebody you want to visit your house because he will well, wreck I it. Think he, I think some people live with Krampus. But that's anyway. probably true. Yeah, that's probably true. No, good stuff. I like that. That's uh, some interesting uh, holiday traditions you've got there to watch <laughs> horror movies that are Christmas-themed, uh, but also to carry on your grandfather's tradition of saying, you know what, Santa Claus came early. It's 10 o'clock Christmas Eve. Presents are here. Come and get them. Uh, that's good stuff. Uh, but, yeah, some parents I, I've seen, they, they wait to put the presents under the tree until Christmas morning. Uh, and uh, that's also kind of adds to that uh, that bit of, uh, you know, the the illusion of sorts. So uh, interesting stuff. I appreciate you guys chiming in on that here with the WMAY morning news feed. Now, 826, 